Hey guys, Kate Kennedy here with a layout using the August Hip Kit. I love this kit so much. But I am doing a 9x12 layout, which I know sounds weird, but I do Project Life in a 9x12 album. And I've been putting a 9x12 layout of our puppy Ellie every week as she grows. So I wanted to do one with this kit. And this is the 16, this is her 16 week layout or whatever. So I've just started with some white cardstock and then I've taken that Studio Calico grid paper and made it so that covers the top. And then some papers from Pink Fresh Studio and Amy Tangerine and matted the photo. And then I cut a little piece of that um, Wonder specialty paper and put a strip of it underneath the grid paper just to kind of give it a little a little break in the layout. And so I'm just going to map the photo with, with just standard, you know, cutting each layer a little bit larger. And then from the Wonder Ephemera box, I have taken that yellow felt heart, which is so cute. I It does end up making it on the layout, but in a different place. And then I also have that rubber charm from Pink Fresh, and that does not end up making it. So I'm just taking the sticky off the back of the shipboard so that I can move it around and stick it on my photo and it won't mess it up if I decide to move it somewhere else. And I've also taken two little hearts from this Dear Lizzie chipboard, a yellow one and a pink one. And both of those are going to end up on the layout, just not where they are right now. And then this little Remember This Puppy sticker from Pink Crush also ends up making it to the layout. So at first I thought I was going to make my title be cute at 16 weeks. But I decided it was too much, so I just um, am making the title 16 weeks. And I'm using the Dear Lizzie, they're gold foil thickers, but they're foam, and they're so awesome. I love them. So I'm making the title 16 weeks. And then I feel like that space at the end of the, of the title, it needs something there. So I'm going to put this yellow felt heart, and then also that chipboard pink heart. And I'm going to put some foam underneath that just so that it sticks up a little bit. And that's what I'm doing now is cutting the foam I think small enough to go. Oh, I, I'm using a glue dot, like a thick glue dot because the foam was a little bit too thick. And then I'm going to glue down this Yes chipboard and put a little bit of foam on one side of that also. And then the yellow heart chipboard heart, I'm gonna slide in underneath there and I'll add a little bit more to that cluster um, later in the process. And now I am, what am I doing? Looking for something else. Oh, I'm going to add, yeah, this little, it says love this. And then I'm going to add a little black heart to that other cluster. And then I'm going to slide, it actually says remember this, but I just want to say remember. So I just slide that puppy sticker underneath the layers of the photo mat. And I thought about just leaving it as it is, and then maybe adding some journaling, but I decided to break into this Dear Lizzie washi tape, which is awesome, and it has a little strip of numbers, so I thought that would be fun because it's, you know, kind of as she grows, and I'm going to put a little bit of that on the left-hand side, and then I'm going to add some kind of spotty pink washi tape from another part of that roll on the top right-hand side, and then a little tiny bit right above that cluster on the left upper left hand corner of the layout also just to kind of balance it out I I like to put washi along edges of paper for some reason and that little black dot in the bottom right hand of the picture by the heart is our other dog Jack's nose because he was busy trying to be in the in the photo so I like the idea of making a little banner across this this here um, the break in the paper and I saw Missy from the design team do a similar banner out of this these acetate triangles and I just thought it was a great idea so I'm going to run the triangles through my Xyron sticker maker y'all have seen me do this before with these and it just makes it so that you can't see the adhesive which is great the the larger size ones like that blue one won't fit so I'm just going to use a little bit of glue on the top part of it because I'm sticking it underneath the vellum so you can't really see the adhesive anyhow. And I'm just going to fuss with those for a minute to try to get them spaced just right. And I like that that kind of breaks it up a little bit and doesn't 
makes it look more finished, I think. I think there was almost too much white space, if that's possible. We all know I love white space, but it's kind of a different size to work with because you have the full 12 inches height-wise, but you only have nine and a half width-wise. So it's kind of, or I mean nine, it's kind of a tricky size to do a layout, but I really like, I really like it. So I'm just going to stamp the date in the upper right hand corner and that is going to finish the layout. So here are some close up pictures. Make sure to check out the September kits. They're awesome. Thanks guys so much for watching and I'll see you all real soon. Bye.